I'm going to make an air shaft vent uh, cover, sort of like you'd see in uh, Alien Isolation. It's a circular thing with all those pieces that uh, open. And then uh, Amanda or whatever Ripley can go in there, try to escape from the aliens, or the aliens can get in there. It's not going to be animated, but it's a, sort of a, a something similar to that for my sci-fi scene. All right, so uh, this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch over here to front view. And I'm going to bring in a circle, and I'm going to make this 12 vertices. I'm going to rotate X 90, so I got that. E and S, and I'm going to bring it in. And let's just switch back to this. I'm going to bring it super, super close, like that. And then I'm going to roll my mouse up a bunch of times. Not too many, but a bunch. Okay, doke. And now I am going to. Um, select that right there and I'm going to turn on proportional editing and I'm going to rotate in the Y R Y and start doing this you can scroll your mouse wheel up but I want it a nice curve like that okay all right make sure we turn that off now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select just all these faces here so I can hit three C for paint select, and I'm gonna, gonna grab these and that one. And I'm gonna go Control I to get the other ones, and I'm gonna delete those uh, faces. So I have just that one. Okay, now I'm gonna give this some thickness. E, and I'm gonna extrude it a little bit. That's how thick I want my piece to be. Control two, and I'm gonna bring an edge loop up here down here I'm not sure about that one down there and over here so I got that okay I'm going to look from the front and I'm going to select it I'm going to make sure that my origin is the 3d cursor right down there in the middle and I'm going to edit mode and I'm going to spin press spin click I'm going to switch to Y, change that to 1, Z to 0. Make sure this is 360 degrees. And I'm probably going to go for 12 steps as well. And I'm going to get this effect. Okay. Now I'm going to come in and look from the front in wireframe and vertex. And I'm going to box select all of these. And I'm going to come out, I think, a little bit as well. Let's go back in the solid view. And I'm going to turn back on proportional editing. And I'm going to push like this. And I adjust that. And so I want it sort of rounded like that. Okay. Shift A, mesh, circle. I'm going to switch this now to 18. Rotate X90. Make sure proportional lettering is off. I'm going to scale it in a little bit. Okay. E and S will come out. Let's extrude it like that. I'll take the whole thing and pull it back. Okay. I'm going to bevel the, these edges. B, pull. I'm going to put one segment in there so I can get a subdivision surface of two. And I think I will, um, I'll delete these back faces here. I'm not going to need them. So you can do any design you want. Uh, I'll put some bolts on there. But just before I do that, I'll go Shift A, Mesh Plane, Rotate X90, and we'll scale it up so it fits. That's fine. I'm going to press 1 to for vertex and I'm going to bevel. Shift Control B, pull, and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up until I got 5. And then hit E to extrude and pull it back, give it some thickness. So I get that. I'll put a bevel on this. I'll go for 2 and 0 0.01. That's good enough. Okay. I hope that looks okay. Let's go back just to this. Now 
now I'm going to shift a mesh circle I'm gonna go for six vertices rotate x90 scale it way down this is gonna be like a, a bolt of some sort zoom in on that Okay, I'm going to hit E and S, and I come in, and then I'm going to grid fill, and then I'm going to take this and extrude it back a ways, take the whole thing so I can see where I'm at, like that, and then I'll take this and I'll just control B, I don't want any segments, so just like that, and catch a bit of light. Okay, now I'm going to take this and just make sure that my 3D cursor is, um, is right in the middle, so shift, uh, shift S, cursor selected, and I'm going to take this and make sure the origin is the 3D cursor. Shift D, rotate Y, 180. Okay, what did I do? No, I didn't do that right. Uh, shift D, rotate Y, 180. There we go. Shift D, rotate Y, 90. And Shift D, rotate Y, 45. I could have done it. Shift D, rotate Y90. And then we get bolts everywhere. Okay. And the final thing will be just to make a little hole in there. So I'm going to take, uh, say, this circle, Shift D, pull it out, and P to break it out. I don't need a subdivision surface on it, but what I do need to do is make a face, F, and give it some thickness and then pull it through this piece here. And we'll make a hole. So select that piece, add Boolean difference, select my cylinder here, apply, and I can get that, get rid of that. And I now will have a hole through there in case I needed it. Um, and at this point, I'm pretty much done. Um, Unless you wanted to adjust the curvature, I'm thinking about. I'll just, I'll just give that a try. I'll even come out to there. Uh, proportional editing, it's like in solid view. You know, if you wanted it like that, you know, you can manipulate it in any way you want. And there is my little air shaft vent. Okay, cool.